So in the first entry, we got plain spikes air circle. So in first impressions, I like the colors and delivery. It's clean and down to the last every minute details. Definitely vintage approved for this one. Nice. I will give this a decent points but the final points will be recorded later in this video. Now on the second list, we got James East Coast Pan Am. What we see here, everything is nothing but white and logos. The thing about this livery is I don't know how he did manage to import the airline text and insignia into the game but I'm impressed because I don't know how to do that. Because it uses some funky trees coding to make it into an image. So overall, this is a fairly decent livery, but it needs some minor improvements in my opinion. I mean, it's alright! Into the third one, we get KZL Planes 13's KZL Charter Air. At first glance, it got some colors, fair details, and you know, more colors. <laughs> the text fonts doesn't fit well for an airline which it seems look like a quote military service aircraft unquote in conclusion this is an okay livery <music> captain Braden's alaska airlines is the fourth entry we got in this place wait hold on i have to deselect the part because it is just directing oh dang it okay good back to the script Captain Braden's Alaska Airlines is the fourth entry we got in this place. As usual, we got colors, but this time, there's logos, decals, and text. So far, there's only two different color variations across the competition, and I'm not complaining. Pixelated images are the downsides of this livery, except on the tail, which looks alright as long as you don't take a close look. This is a good livery in grand scheme of things. Third to the last is Sala 001 X Triple Vages Cantas. Delivery looks. I don't know. White and red? Maybe. Since this user wants the entry to win, I'll sure give this a lead. What? Seriously, that was a joke, so calm down and let's stay objective. Judging at the paint scheme, it looks basic, with this all just text and minor appearance changes. That's the conclusion. What we came across is Chip Avionics Chip Air Regional. Like the other paint schemes, we got colors but no texts and logos. What's different from the rest is it had painted parts like glass, ailerons, and engines. Fair livery so far. Probably the last on this list is ZSP's American Airlines. Judging on the livery, it's the bluest one we've seen. It packs some stars and texts. The front and back part is too shiny in my opinion and the middle one is too matte. Overall, it's good. Just good. General United States Lufthansa is the only late submission here. I'm gonna say that this is the best looking real life airline livery. Distinct color codes and logos. Mm. Though he's going to cost some points because he sent his entree days after I closed the challenge. That sums up all your livery challenge submissions and thank you for participating. Now let's head to the voting section and see the standings of the poll.